it's my last battle vest update. I finally know what to call it, know the term for it, I guess. Um, but I wanted to make another one, mostly because I think my original vest, my first one, is kind of done now, and I've been moved on to like another, not really a vest, but civil project of like a similar type, I guess. And I was like, I need to kind of pass the torch on to that next one, so thought I could go ahead and make a video about it. I was going to do one about some of my other custom pieces I've worked on since my last video about custom pieces, but I don't feel like digging everything out and finding pictures of stuff that I made and sold, so I'm just going to talk about my battle clothes, I guess. Oh, that feels weird calling it. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, my battle vest and then my new one. So I'll go ahead and show you my old one. I don't know what all I've done for it, like done to it since my last video. It's pretty much like been done for a while, but I'll go ahead and get that. Here's the, the old, the old reliable, um, I literally have no idea what I've added since then, but I have like, you know, pins and stuff. I really should have like rewatched that video to update it, but um, I don't really know. I guess I can just give you a tour, Battle Vest Tour 2022, um, but I have my, you know, Paramore, Green Day, Killers. A lot of this was like my first bands I got into, so some of these I don't listen to as much anymore, but they're still on there because it's like my first vest, so it's like a time capsule. But this Hard Rock Cafe pin I found in the school hallway, Music is My First Love pin from Hot Topic. Um, this is all over the place already. But yeah, a lot of the patches, like, this is where I can learn like a better way to sew them on. So they're like kind of not falling off, but they're all like frayed and everything. And stuff. I have like a Fall Boy pin one of my online friends gave me. I have some 21 Pilots pins that one of them, I think these are both from my sister actually. Um, some safety pins. I don't have any like rhyme or reason they're there. They're just there for like aesthetic reasons. This Boy Scout pin I found at the flea market and thought looked cool. But um, this vest was given to me by one of my high school friends. Um, and it belonged to her aunt in the 80s and she gave it to me for my birthday and I wanted to cry and she gave it to me because she knew I could like, you know, fix it up and do stuff to it. So yeah, it was a really great gift. Um, thank you, if you're watching this. Um, but yeah, this is this patch right here is an MCR patch. It's actually the first one I ever, her first patch I ever made. It's made from a completely different material. It's some weird like polyester plastic-y like material. It's not even like denim. And I made it to put on like a blazer. I was making a Black Parade costume for Halloween, but whenever I was um, starting my vest, I was like, ooh, I have a patch somewhere, so I, I did that. So that was my first patch. And I remember I put it on there and I wore this to the last day of school and all I had on it was pretty much this patch and maybe some pins and then the Fall Out Boy design, that was the first thing I added to it. So I remember going to, maybe by the 19, I used to have a bigger than 1975 patch and I just have this little one because I wanted to use that for more room, but this is all over the place. Um, very ADHD, um, my ADHD is showing through very much right now, um, but yeah, but this is, the back is like, my favorite part, or I guess I should finish the front, well the front you've already seen all of it, and then, like I have Mania here, I really want to make a patch of this for my new one because I love it, um, but yeah, it's pretty cool, here's the back, dedication to the band for me, um, but I don't know how much was done last time I did this, um, but I have like the Fall Out Boy Chicago design and then I did Believers Never Die, you know, for their like first compilation album and then I got, this is our culture from Nova Kane from American Be American Psycho, so I did the little like skull with the American flag face paint, kind of like the album cover. Um, I did Until Your Breathing Stops Forever across the back because, um, dedication, you know, I'm a diehard, but also it's a reference to um, Chicago So Two Years Ago, which was then interpolated in Save Rock and Roll, so it's like a double reference, which is great. Um, so I did that. I love that. I need to make- I really want to put this on a patch for my new one too, but I did the- this is probably my most recent thing, but I did the Bat School- Bart School- I don't know what to call it, it's the clandestine industries thing, but it's also a thing that like Pete has tattooed. Um, but I did this right before Hell Mega Tour, so I'd have it pretty- more of this done. So this is the last thing I added, I think, and- yeah, that's kind of like very, not really full circle because I always still listen to them, but that was a really big concert for me to see them at, and so that's like the last thing I did before I did that. So that's like that's the last thing I did to it before then, so that's really cool because I wore this to my Hello Mega Tour show. Um, and then I put Young and Menace on the bottom because, you know, cool, good song, I like it. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's really cute. But I definitely haven't worn it in a while. I still would probably like pull this out if I get to see them again eventually. Um, but it's definitely like more of like a time capsule, sentimental piece, art piece. I hang it on my wall 
Um, but yeah, I've been meaning to start my second one. I actually have another one I started that that's a vest, but it just wasn't sticking. So I don't know if I'm going to take the patches off of that and put them on the one I'm actually working on, or if I'm just going to save that one, because you can have multiple, you know, you don't have to have just one you're working on. It's supposed to be fun and about expressing yourself and things that are important to you, so. But yeah, this is my first battle vest. She's my baby. It's time for her to pass the torch on to the next one, so thought I'd make this video as a way of doing that, so hello. You have served me well, and you will continue to serve me well. And I love her, so there's that. But this is the next one I've been working on. It's actually a dress. I call this my battle dress. Um, it's just this really long, it's literally like floor length denim dress. It has long sleeves and everything. Um, this is like a whole thing because I was inspired by those posts of actually like metal heads with like really long vests, like, like trench coats basically, but without sleeves of patches kind of exaggerated, like I don't see a lot of people doing that. I think it was actually a meme I saw about like the final boss in metal or something. I don't know, I'll have to insert it like right here or wherever it fits on the screen. But I was like, that would be so funny to do like one of those denim dresses that are like long but it looks like a vest that's just really long but it buttons up the front. So I was gonna find one of those like, ooh, I have to make it kind of like as a meme. I was gonna make it a whole project video but then I realized but once I started the project it just kind of became my next battle vest in a way. Um, but I looked for a while for one, I couldn't find it online, like, it, well, you know, like, I had one to have my eye on, someone bought it, it just took me a while to find one, I was at one of my favorite, like, charity shops, and I found this dress, and it's technically not even what I was looking for, because it has, like, you know, this and a skirt, so it's more of a dress and less of, like, a long vest, and it has sleeves and everything, and then I thought about cutting the sleeves off, but I think I'm gonna keep it now, because it's, like, more room for, um, patches and stuff. But, um, I started working on it, and I was like, wait, you know what I mean? Like, I looked at it, and it was speaking to me, even though it wasn't the original, like, like, style of denim dress I wanted. It, like, was speaking to me. I had to get it. So I got it, and it's actually, it's, it's great. I love it. Um, because I loved, like, the, how exaggerated those, like, really long vests were, so I wanted it to be kind of ridiculous. So, like, I plan on covering this whole thing, the whole skirt, in patches and stuff. Um, it's gonna take me a while, but, um, I've been trying to. But yeah, this is my next one. This is the one. This is my next, like, piece in my, like, battle vest. Even though it's not a vest, it's a dress, but it's a whole thing. Um, but the first thing I actually added to it was, I think the first thing actually was a stinging good guys pin I got in, like, some Chucky blind bags for Christmas. Um, but I usually don't do pins, but this one's nice, and I like it, and it stays out of the way, so I did that. But, um, I actually started with the back. Because it took me forever to finally just sit down and do this. Like, I had to make sure to wash it, because once I do this, I can't wash it. Um, which is kind of part of it, too. And, like, um, not metal culture, but, like, like in metal, you yeah, have the battle vests are kind of a metal thing, but I think they're also a punk thing. And then in, like, punk, you have, like, crust pants and things like that, and you're not supposed to wash them, really, and stuff like that. It's, like, there's all these layers to it, all these different kinds of subcultures kind of coming together here, because I love learning about different subcultures, but, um... But yeah, so I started with this design from a Green Day shirt. It was from a Revolution Radio shirt. Um, so I took this and then, and it kind of has memories attached to it because what happened was my cousin, you know, we were all going to Omega Tour. She wanted me to get her Green Day shirt because she didn't have time to look for one. And then it was marked as the wrong size, so it wouldn't fit her. So I kept it. I wore it a few times. I really didn't like it that much, like how it fit and everything. So I was like, oh, I can just put this on my jacket, on my dress. So here it is. And it looks really cool. And like, it doesn't say Green Day on it. And I think it's just cool and like kind of ambiguous, but like you can tell who it is. Um, and then I added a Fall Out Boy patch because, you know, they're my favorite. And then I added the main because they were my other favorite. Um, those two are my top, like, they're not like top two, like one's in first place, one's in second place. Those two are my favorite band, like collectively, I've decided. And that's a whole thing. Um, so I have them on here. I had to do get me the Fall Boy and the main patches. And then I did Punk His Dad because I love puns. And yes, just no other explanation. This punk is dad. So, um, that's the back, and it's really nice. This was the first thing I added. Um, I don't think I'm gonna go in chronological order, because I forgot the chronological order at this point, so I'll just go start on the back, because the back's usually, like, cooler. So then eventually I did add some stuff, some more stuff to the back. It's really hard to sew, because this thing has pockets, which is cool, but it's hard to sew on them, because there's also all these, like, pleats, I guess. Um, but yeah, I eventually added two more patches to the back. This thing is so long and awkward. Um, <laughs> But that's what's kind of going forward, just long and awkward and ridiculous. But, um, I got Stay Outraged, Stay Loud, Stay Safe, which was, um, 
a thing that John from the main posted on Instagram in 2020 during like a tough time for everyone socially and um I don't know it's just like yeah just like you know care about things you care about but also care about your physical and mental health so that's important to me and like I know what it's from so that's what's important to me so if other people don't know what it's from it's like I know what it means so that's kind of like how I like doing it I actually took this patch it says change will come it's from coffees for closers from folia do a lot of these are either song titles or song lyrics because that's just the way i express myself easiest um but it's from coffees for closer from folia do by fallout boy and it was actually on a pair of like kind of like not really i wouldn't call them crest pants because i didn't like i eventually grew out of them and i didn't like work on them or wear them long enough for them to really achieve that level but they were inspired by crest pants they're my patch pants um but I took this off of it because I didn't feel like making new patches and I was like I can just transfer these because I don't wear these anymore and they can still have use so put them on here so that's cool and then I finally started doing stuff on the bottom too these ones aren't too interesting it's just um, from that same pair of pants it's this giant fall boy patch I made I had to sew two things of fabric together and then um, a pair more patch so I have those towards the bottom because I'm just kind of going all over the place with this just gonna gradually fill My camera cut out. I'm not used to recording such long videos with this thing. Um, but I was on the front, so this is the front. Um, this is the, actually the most recent patch I've added to it. It's Give Em Hell Kid, the MCR song. This also came from my crust pants. Um, but yeah, I just really like it. And it's like right there in the front, which is really like in your face. But it's like, you know, kind of me just like going out of my comfort zone a little bit and stuff. But it's just like, I like it. I just really like it. It makes me feel good about myself. I'm like empowered and stuff but yeah so there's that I haven't done a lot up here but I really need to um I have my good yes pin I already showed you guys that I don't have a lot of pins because they make me nervous I always feel like I'm gonna lose them so but this one's been staying pretty sturdy so that one is there um and then it's just pretty plain on the front I have two pockets up here this is so hard to sew up here because of the ruffles not the ruffles the pleats and the pocket but I managed to have some patches up here um but here they are. I have, um, Don't You Know That The Kids Aren't Alright from Fall Out Boy, because, um, it's, it's just a good song, but also that's how I feel all the time, even though I'm not really a kid anymore. I've just, even a kid, as a kid, even now, I just, I'm not alright sometimes. <laughs> so that's what I have. And then I have We've Been Here Forever. It's a pride patch. Um, it's a lyric from Centuries, and it's kind of one of those lyrics that, um, I think there are some lyrics where, like, the su subtext of that song is supposed to be about pride and things like that. So I made a, like, it's supposed to be, like, a subtle pride patch. So I have, like, you know, the colors, like, the rainbow, and then the lyric from Centuries. So I really like it because it's, like, one of my favorites. And it's, like, I understand what it is. Maybe not everyone sees that song for, like, not everyone has that song meaning this for them. But, like, for me it does. So it's nice. Again, these are really personal. So it's, like you know, ways that, and it's just, these are really personal, so it's like, these are all things that mean something to me. So I like it a lot, it's really cool. Um, so that's cool. I have, I try to do more stuff on the bottom and everything, just so like, it's kind of like, has just variety, I guess. Um, but I have two down here for the main. I have 8123, which is like a number, two, important number in the fandom and in to the band and everything, so I put that there. And then I did this cool design that's from their merch, which is like a circle and just the numbers. And I really like it. It looks cool. And then I have Am I Pretty because it's like one of their songs that I really like. But also it's just kind of like about like, you know, loving yourself and not worrying about like loving yourself and not worrying about whether or not people think you're pretty because we're all pretty and stuff like that. I just, I like it a lot. It's such a good song. You should check it out. But I just thought it was cool because it's also kind of like rhetorical, philosophical and stuff like that because I don't always like care about being pretty but it's like am I pretty like you know I don't know I just like it I love them so much um you should totally check them out <laughs> um but yeah that's them I have some on the bottom of the front I think I'm already lost in this thing oh yeah I have some on the bottom but I have famous last words from MCR because it's a song that's really important to me and it's just I like the in I love the, t the song title just like the weird ambiguous just having the song title in here and it's just cool and then I have a lyric from Novocaine by Fault Boy this is the last one right now I'm still like in the process of working on this a lot but I thought it would be good to show you I thought it if I don't document any of it while well, it's in work in progress and I'm gonna forget it, you know so it's like I because at first I was gonna finish it and to do the whole video of it but I realized I should just 
do since I used to do battle vest updates, I will start doing them for this one. So, but yeah, this is from Nova Candy for Fall Out Boy, and it says if you know what the blue red sing at, you would never sing along. And I will, and it's just like um, a song's like I like the meaning behind that song. Um, so it's like really cool. There's like a genius like oh no my my Halloween lights fell on my thing. But there's like a genius lyrics article if you want to like look up kind of what some of the subtext and things the song is referencing or subtext of the song and some things it's referencing from the year from like the time period the album was released because it's like really important and it's like a subtle way for me to like put things I care about on here where it's like subtle where I know what it's about and certain people and like certain people know what it's about but it's like because I am like still I get nervous about talking about things I care about and putting it on like my body so it's like oh subtle but I know what it is so I'm expressing myself and things that I care about so that's what I really like um but that's why it's also been difficult to work on this a lot because like where I that's how I make patches is usually musical ways music related and a lot of times battle this mainly in like the punk community they'll put like like social causes they care about and I want to do that but I'm always like nervous about that for like a lot of reasons so it's like um which I guess it's a lot but also just like I don't want to deal with people like talking to me about it because it's like I don't want to deal with people trying to argue with me about it you know so it's like I put ones that I understand what I'm talking about and other people will as I have repeated too much in this video but yeah this is like you know weird turn for this video take but yeah it's just it's very important to me and I like how it's turning out and eventually I will be able to fill it up with everything and anything so very excited to show you guys um yes I haven't done like a rambly video like this in a while so I am rusty but I hope it turns out good and I hope you guys enjoyed and Excited to make more content related to my clothes because I love talking about dolls, but I also love talking about clothes and like my art and things like that. So, thank you for watching!